Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Nursing Education. Today I'm going to talk about fetal heart monitoring, which is useful for all the nurses and also for the NPLS exam. So fetal heart monitoring is basically something where we see the well-being of the fetus. So in the fetal heart monitoring, we do the non-stress test where we see the three component, variability, acceleration, and deceleration. If everything is okay with these three component, that means the result is reassuring or the result is normal. If anything wrong with these three component or anything abnormal is this co component in the graph of non-stress state, that means the result is abnormal or non reassuring First component is a variability. So meaning of variability is a variation. It means the variation of fetal heart rate from one bit to the next. Here you can see in the graph there is a variation in the heart rate. So there should be variation from the one heart rate to the another. If there is no variation, that means that is abnormal. Heart rate should be, fetal heart rate should be uh, different from one bit to the another. So normal uh, fetal heart rate should be between five to 25 beat per minute. The variation should be five to 25 beat per minute. If there is less than that number or more than that number, that is abnormal. So next component is acceleration. Acceleration means the increase in something. So before understanding the acceleration, you need to understand the baseline heart rate. So here you can see in the graph, the baseline heart rate is 120. So uh, baseline heart rate is something average heart rate over the last 10 to 20 minutes of observation. And normal baseline heart rate is 110 to 160 beat per minute. So acceleration is something there is increase in the heart rate from the baseline heart rate. Here you can see there is increase of the heart rate from the baseline heart rate. And to be acceleration, there should be increase in the baseline heart rate of more than 15 beat per minute, which should be lasting for more than 15 seconds. The presence of acceleration is reassuring, that's good, and that is normal. There should be at least two acceleration every 20 minutes of observation. If there is a no acceleration or one acceleration in 20 minutes of observation, that is abnormal. And we have to investigate further and need to identify the cause and treat accordingly. Another component is deceleration. Deceleration meaning the decrease in something. So here there is a decrease in the baseline heart rate of more than 15 beat per minute for more than 15 seconds. So this is a baseline heart rate here, so there is 20, uh, 120 baseline heart rate and there is decrease in the heart rate. So to be deceleration, this would be decrease in the uh, fetal heart rate from the baseline. That should be more than 15 beat per minute for more than 15 seconds. And the deceleration is abnormal. So there is a different kind of deceleration, early deceleration, variable deceleration and late deceleration. Early deceleration is okay, that is acceptable, but late deceleration and variable deceleration is abnormal. And if there is a presence of deceleration, then we need to treat them or investigate further and identify the cause and treat accordingly. So non-stress test, in the non-stress test, we see the same thing, same component that we have discussed now, the baseline heart rate variability, acceleration, deceleration. So based on that component, we say this test is reassuring or non-reassuring. The non-stress test is a test which is performed to assess the placental function and oxygenation supply to the fetus. This test determines the fetal well-being and this test evaluates the fetal heart rate response to the fetal movement. So when we do the non-stress test, we also give one button to press to the omen and based on that fetal movement, we see the fetal heart rate, how the fetal heart rate is responding with the fetal movement. In the non-stress test, we apply the monitor sensor on the abdomen of the pregnant omen. So there's a two monitor sensor, one is a contraction monitor center and one is a fetal heart rate uh, monitor sensor. So contraction monitor sensors saw the uterine contraction on the graph and fetal heart rate sensor saw the fetal heart rate on the graph. So on a stress test is an external ultrasound transducer and the tocodynamometer. So uh, the 
Your ultrasound transducer assess the fetal heart rate and the tocodynamiter assess the uterine contraction, which is applied on the client and tracing of at least 20 minute duration is obtained so that the fetal heart rate and uterine activities can be observed. The client is placed in the lateral or sideline position to avoid the vent cover compression which occurs in the supine position. The client may be asked to press the button every time the client feels fetal movement which is given during the monitoring period. The monitor records a mark at each point of the fetal movement which is used as a reference point to assess the fetal heart rate response. So non-stress stress result is two kinds. One is a reactive non-stress stress result, one is non-reactive. Reactive is normal or negative result. Reactive indicate a healthy fetus. So to be a reactive non-stress stress result, there should be at least two or more fetal heart rate acceleration of at least 15 beat per minute, which should be lasting at least 15 seconds from the beginning of the acceleration to the end. In association with the fetal movement during the 20 period, minute period. Non-deactive, non-stress stress result is abnormal, where there is no acceleration or accelerations of less than 15 beat per minute or lasting less than 15 second in duration occur during a 40 minute of observation. So if in the 20 minute of observation, if there is no acceleration or if you find any abnormal, we can do till 40 minutes and we can see whether there is a acceleration or the acceleration which is less than 15 beat per minute. Or lasting less than 15 seconds and if it's still present that means that that result is non-reactive or abnormal another result is unsatisfactory the result cannot be interpreted because of the poor quality of the fetal heart tracing cardiotocography the monitoring is the same like a non-stress test in this test we mainly see the fetal ability to tolerate the labor and we expose the patient in the stress of contraction and we see the adequacy of placental perfusion under the stimulation of liver condition. Sometimes we have to give the oxytocin and sometimes we ask the patient to do the nipple stimulation, which helps to produce the oxytocin and which produces the contraction and we see the fetal ability to tolerate the labor. So CTG uh, test is assess the placental oxytocin and function as well. Test determine the fetal ability to tolerate the labor and determine the fetal well-being. The fetus is exposed to the stress of contraction to assess the adequacy of placental perfusion under the, under the simulated labor conditions. This test is performed when the doctor or healthcare provider believes that the fetus needs to be delivered immediately and the fetal ability to tolerate the labor is unclear due to the failed non-stress test. So CTG is the external fetal monitoring is same like a non-stress test which is applied on the client abdomen and we observe for the 20 to 30 minute and also record the strip the graph. The uterus is stimulated by giving the oxytocin or having a client to use the nipple stimulation until the three palpable contraction with the duration of 40 seconds or more in a 10 minute period have been achieved. We also assess the blood pressure frequently and if we're increasing the oxytocin we need to assess it closely uh, to prevent the hyperstimulation of the uterus so you can see the negative and positive result or normal and abnormal results negative result or normal result is represented by no late deceleration of fetal heart rate whereas a positive or abnormal test is uh, represented by late deceleration of the fetal heart rate so if there is no late dissolution, that is normal. If there is a late dissolution, that is a abnormal. Unsatisfactory result means that there is an inadequate uterine contraction or the adequate uterine contraction cannot be achieved. Or the fetal heart rate tracing is of insufficient quality for the adequate interpretation. Thank you for watching. Please like to my video and subscribe to my channel. Press the bell icon to get more video. Keep supporting, keep watching. Thank you.